we want to evaluate the improper integral. Looking at the integrand function, we might be thinking we need to perform u substitution, where u equals x squared minus nine, but that won't work because du equals two x dx, and we don't have a factor of x in the numerator. Next, we might be thinking we should apply an integration formula resulting in an inverse trig function. Notice the given integral most closely resembles this integration formula here, where we have the integral of one divided by the square root of the quantity a squared minus u squared du, where a is a constant and u is a function of x. But this also won't work because we have the square root of x squared minus nine. In order to use the given integration formula, we would need the square root of nine minus x squared. But thinking back to some additional integration techniques, because we have the square root of x squared minus nine, which fits the form of the square root of x squared minus a squared, we let x equal a secant theta, where in our case, because a squared equals nine, a is equal to three, and therefore we let x equal three secant theta. So we let x equal three secant theta. Next we determine dx. dx equals the derivative of three secant theta times d theta, which gives us three secant theta times tangent theta d theta. And now we write the integral with respect to theta. To begin, the limits of integration from three to five are x values. We need to determine what theta is when x equals three and x equals five. To do this, we use the equation x equals three secant theta. So when x equals three, we have the equation three equals three secant theta. Dividing both sides by three, we have secant theta equals one which indicates theta is equal to zero. Recall the secant function and cosine function are reciprocals of one another, which indicates secant theta equals one when cosine theta equals one, which is one way to remember why theta equals zero. Next, we need to determine theta when x equals five. When x equals five, we have the equation five equals three secant theta which indicates secant theta equals five thirds. There's no nice angle where secant theta equals five thirds, so the exact value for theta is theta equals inverse secant of five thirds, which is the upper limit of integration. And then we have one divided by the square root of x squared is the square of three secant theta, giving us nine secant squared theta minus nine. And then dx is equal to three secant theta tangent theta d theta. And now we simplify. Let's focus on the square root for a moment. We can write the square root of nine secant squared theta minus nine as the square root of nine times secant squared theta minus one, which is equal to the square root of nine tangent squared theta, which equals three tangent theta which gives us the integral from zero to inverse secant of five thirds of one divided by three tangent theta times three secant theta tangent theta d theta. Simplifying three divided by three simplifies to one. Tangent theta divided by itself simplifies to one. Notice now the integrand function is simply secant theta. We have the integral from zero to inverse secant of five thirds, secant theta d theta. Next we determine the antiderivative. Let's do this on the next slide. Integrating, the antiderivative is natural log, absolute value of the sum of secant theta and tangent theta.
Next, we determine big F of inverse secant 5 thirds minus big F of 0, which gives us the natural log, absolute value of secant of inverse secant 5 thirds plus tangent of inverse secant 5 thirds and then minus natural log absolute value of secant 0 plus tangent 0. And now we need to simplify. Secant inverse secant of 5 thirds simplifies to 5 thirds, giving us natural log absolute value of 5 thirds. Plus, to determine tangent of inverse secant 5 thirds, we need to use a right triangle. Let's let inverse secant of 5 thirds be the angle theta, this angle here. We know the secant function value is 5 thirds, which is the ratio of the hypotenuse to the adjacent side. Notice we have a three, four, five right triangle. The opposite side has a length of four. And we're looking for the tangent of the angle theta, which equals the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us four thirds. And then we have minus natural log absolute value of secant zero. Secant zero is equal to one, plus tangent zero is equal to zero. Simplifying, we have natural log absolute value of 5 thirds plus 4 thirds is 9 thirds or 3 minus natural log 1 is 0. We can drop the absolute value because 3 is positive. The exact value of the definite integral is natural log 3. I hope you found this helpful.